what's up y'all so we're gonna start in the greenhouse and work our way out so it's less on my table less on my table i believe this is some type of radish what was sent to me and said to be jicama which i know to not be jicama these are lemon drop melons not the watermelon variety like a like a honeydew kind of melon uh so i have five of those my pigeon peas have five of those i went on potted up individually i have one late bloomer on the red pigeon peas so i had one come up there um rainbow i think that's cauliflower now this is rainbow cauliflower that's rainbow broccoli uh, so it say that's what the seeds say i don't believe that oh uh, i believe that's just some because the germination was terrible to begin with then this is butterfly pea back here those two and then you see i have several tomatoes this one could stand to be potted up so could this one that's a volunteer i got a volunteer pepper over here that's out doing every pepper look at that ain't that pretty um callaloo over there I got some weeds in here like Vincent's. That's just a plain old weed. It's onions in there. Uh, I'm trying to think. Y'all have seen all these, the cuttings and stuff. They're growing lovely. I had to cover my white mulberries back. There they are. They got their little clan hat on. So I had to put them back on. But I want to show y'all this here. So these are the cuttings that I got from Skill Cut. Now this is a cutting. Can y'all see that? That's gonna be great. See how this is? And and the cut grape cuttings are so easy. You could just stick them in dirt. And then those figs there are purple LSU purples from uh, Go Grow. So I have not disturbed that I could get those figs out of there and pop them in something. But I have not disturbed them because I want to make sure they get good and rooted out before I disturb anything because I'm not really trying to do a bunch of disturbing so and them onions like I got a bunch of die back on those I swear to god onion from seeds is to me almost it's just for the very weight I must y'all say hello to Chris I must uh get my pruners because I know there are some things that I have been needing to cut down and I have not now let me show you this here see those goji cuttings are already making berries so uh goji's just fruit so fast grow so fast these mulberries are growing fast I'm gonna get them out of there and put them in something y'all remember the video I did what to do with your collard plants here they are they're still green and if you notice the few that had leaves, those leaves have not drooped. Uh, we've been getting a lot, a lot of rain. So really in this video, I'm gonna give y'all a lot of information. So I need you to hang with me cause gardening is learning on the go. Okay. So this year I'm gonna do an experiment. I'm gonna plant some tomatoes back here in the shade. I've noticed people saying that in the heat of the summer in the, in the South, where it's hot as fire, your tomatoes will do better and keep making in the shade. So I'm gonna try that. When these peas get gone and these peas get gone, tomatoes are going in there behind them. Um, I want to mention this: the strawberries that I bought, that soil that they put in there. That soil is really designed for those plants. If just in case they don't get water for weeks on end, that they make it. That soil actually holds so much water that being out here and we've been getting rain two, three, four days in a row. It was just my, my strawberries are so waterlogged. So I planted the three plants I had in here. I planted in here. I had another strawberry. I don't know if I lost it or not. Hopefully I got it in there fast enough and didn't lose it. But one of those sweet berries, the one with the red flowers. So I planted it in here. My compost doesn't hold that much water to where the stuff can get waterlogged. Okay, so keep that in mind when you buy these. Just like I believe I need to get these out of here before long. But because those guavas were on life support, I'm not so worried about them. Uh, these 
Barbados cherries are tropical. Maybe they won't care, but you see they blooming. Baby, when I tell you I came out here and screeched and look at my Chilean guava. And I'm gonna notify that seller on e on Etsy. That's unacceptable. I paid $30 for it. I haven't done anything to it. Half of it died back. I suspect the rest of it's gonna die back. I don't know what the deal is, but I'm not having it. Um something down over in here. All of my figs look great except for the Celeste. So the I think I think it's just getting just a touch too much water. Um, but all the rest of the figs like it, so I don't understand. But I took all the leaves off of it, so it's not dead. You can see the tips and stuff is still green. I'm going to see if it'll leaf back out. I think this is a new bud right right there. I'm sorry. Uh, I think. Is that a little bit? No. The, the light out here is terrible, y'all. It's supposed to rain today. So I, I'm going to hope that that leaves back out. If it doesn't show any signs of leafing back out, I'm taking cuttings. I'm not going to lose that tree. I'll just take cuttings and root the cuttings and then see what it does from there. So some of my fruit on the peach, see like that? Um, Aisha asked a, a pointed question. She said, uh, do you take those little peaches off? You can. The ones that don't look like they got pollinated. Can y'all see down on the ground? Those were ones that... The tree will abort them itself. Um, if you want to go through and take them off, you can. But um, I just let the tree do it because I have so many other things to do. So um, I had 40 on here. I see four, five, six. Uh, it dropped quite a few. Four, five, six. I think it's going to drop that first little one. That one's probably going to drop. It looks a little gray. Um, it's probably going to drop that back one too. But all of the ones that have swelled up and that are this size... I'm pretty sure it's gonna hold. Um, so yeah, I just kind of let my trees do what they want. However, if you look at Bull's tree, Bull's tree is holding so much fruit. His trees have been there longer and they're more established than mine. Um, I would make supports. Um, it's not that the tree can't get the fruit to maturity. It's that the weight of the fruit will snap the limbs at that point. Cause his tree gets plenty of nutrition. It'll, 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 it'll ripen the fruit. Um, I would make supports like two by four supports to carry the weight of the fruit. Now it will take longer for your fruit to ripen, but I'm sorry, I like fruit, so I'll wait. Um, <laughs> over here, my grapes leafed out wonderfully. These are some kind of grape, I can't remember which ones. These are muscadines, have blackberries down through there. My raspberry didn't make it. I always struggle with, well, I've killed two or three raspberries. Um, I don't know. <laughs> uh, bananas. As you can see, came up nicely. Over here is where I got a lot of cutting to do. So this is why I brought my pruners. So when you live in the environment that I live in, you have to make sure that you constantly, constantly cutting these vines. In the spring, they grow the most. Um, So that's when you have to worry about them the most. So. Oh, come on, get out of there. And this stuff grabs your fruit, grabs everything. There's also poison ivy in here, so I have to be careful. Like this is poison ivy right here, but I don't see where it's coming from. Yes, I do. Crap, come on, behave. This is coming from over here, so let's get that out. That's actually coming from in the bed. Let's get this out. So yeah, it becomes a thing of cut down all the foolishness when it arrives. Oh, that's poison ivy. There's a little coming up in that bed. I'm going to deal with it later. But... That's just something I inherited with this yard. It's just copious amounts of poison ivy. And it's hard to get rid of without, especially if you're growing edibles without poisoning. Come on now. And so you just, after I cut you, you're just going to lay down gracefully. How about you just quit growing? All right, y'all. So that's some of the stuff cut. Now let's move on to 
Y'all remember the video where I showed y'all I cut off all the tops of my collars. So I put them in here. Don't worry about that red stuff. That's just the rust from the barrel. And rust doesn't have anything toxic in it. Iron is actually uh, good for you. It's good for the soil to an extent as well. So as you can see, I need to put donks and all this stuff. Um, but I want to tell you right now, it smells like a cesspit over here. It does not smell pleasant. You can't smell it far off, but when you get as close as I am to these, you can smell it. But all of this in here, all of this is fertilizer. And I just want to show y'all, I wanted to show you this first before I move to the front to prove, case in point, what I'm talking about. So, I've watered with that green juice. Uh, and for those of y'all that's new, haven't seen my videos, those are the tops of the collard plants that went to seed. I cut them off and I uh, rooted some of the stems. I stuck them in dirt to root and then I cut the tops off and I want to show y'all this right quick. See how this branching out already. See that? This is where I, this one isn't doing the shit, but it will. Okay. But I cut all those tops off and I put them in water. Now let me help y'all understand this. You're, when your plants go to seed and you put this stuff in water to break down as fertilizer, you're getting even more nutrients. You want to know why? That thing was making seeds. If it has seed pods and flowers on it, seeds have more nutrition and flowers have more nutrition. Out of all the things you can eat in the plant world, seeds and flowers generally have the most, some of the most uh, nutrition. Think about when you eat the fruits, like tomatoes and stuff, there's seeds in there. Uh, think about when you eat some of these different flowers, if you're using this hibiscus uh, for tea and things like that. Uh, nuts those are seeds um, berries um, some of those you don't eat the actual seed like cherries you spit them out but like blackberries you generally don't spit the seeds out you eat those seeds so it so always remember that if it has a lot of nutrition for you it's gonna have a lot of nutrition for your garden now why am I saying all that I put all that in that water to break down so all that extra nutrition from those seeds and flowers that fertilizer is going to be that much more nutritious now i have watered this stuff twice with that particular fertilizer i want to tell y'all this the cabbage collards i had in the greenhouse that's what you see planted there one two three four five six so i had six cabbage collards i have planted all those out there now I had a little damage. This is from Roly Polies. It's a little damage, but you know what you can do? Just break off that stuff that's low to the ground. Don't even worry about it. Homeboy will put out those Roly Polies will do that. I have a lot of, you can see one right there. I have a lot of Roly Polies in this bed because I have a lot of uh, wood chip in this bed. This bed is very heavily wood chipped. So what I do is the stuff that's closer to the ground, I just use it generally just break it off this i'm gonna have to stand up and do something because the whole thing laying down but trust me it'll outgrow that um so i have some grass in there i need to get out but i put those in here two days ago they have grown already i know y'all didn't see it but y'all gonna be able to see some proof here in a minute um same thing with this i've watered this whole garden twice with my fertilizer with those greens the red tatsoy, see one there, two, three, four, five. So I have those five tatsoy. I have beans making beans already, and the plants don't even look that good. That's why I started fertilizing because the plants look horrible. Um, I think this part of the bed is just not very uh, nutritious. I think between the pine roots and other things, just not that nutritious. Look at that collard back in there. Um, look at the catnip, how green and how pretty. How big it's filled out. Can y'all see the blueberries in there? You see what I'm saying? So, those are the, you know, first little glimmerings of, and, and I noticed that my onions are growing better as well. Um, but this is what I really want to show y'all. Go all the way back and remember when I propagated this kale. Remember how naked it was? Look at it now. 
So understand that that liquid fertilizer, it's going to go. And when I do the liquid fertilizer, I do get it on the leaves because the leaves can uptake some of that nutrition and also water the soil. Look at the Swiss short. Look at the celery. I've been, and I'm going to show you all the harvest I got off that today. The garlic, I mean, you know, garlic is garlic and it's going to do what it do. This pepper here, look at here. And I want to show y'all, I saw some pod somewhere right down in there. It's going to be making peppers here in just a hot second. These peas I harvest off of every day. Look at the garlic. This is going to seed. I'm going to save the seed. I really can't remember what this is, but I didn't get to taste it before it went to seed. And uh, that had a horrible taste. I'm going to grow it one more time. If it tastes bad again, I'm not going to let it seed and I'm going to get rid of it. Um, I've harvested off these red mustards two or three times. And let me show you this here. When you go in here, I've kind of harvested some beans off of here. Look here. But I don't know if y'all can see all the, it's, it's flowers, flowers for days all through here. All through here. See that? I mean, if I just push these leaves back, you'll see so many flowers. But, um... I need to harvest this. This is ready. But let me show y'all one last thing before I let y'all go. I, I just want to dump out my little harvest I had. Off of these peas. Look at all these peas. That's all from today. Dropped one. So... That's what we got going on. Everything's looking good, y'all. My sweet potatoes is coming up too, y'all. So it's looking good out here until next time. See you guys later.